G'day guys, Mungrel here. We get asked a few questions from time to time about what exactly do we do when we build and test a machine for you. Um, well, here's a quick demo. Basically what we do is we build it, we put it in our little jig here on the bench. This is a discovery, incidentally. And, uh, and we put it through its paces. And what, what we mean by that is we've got the machine hooked up to a watt meter here and uh, we will put the motors and the ESCs under load as if they were flying. So I know a uh, Discovery pulls about 20 amp in a hover. So we will bring this thing up to about 20 amp and leave it running for a majority of a 4,500 milliamp hour battery, just like it was hovering. Once that's done and we're nearly, we're nearly out of battery power, we will actually give it a few bursts. Uh, we get it up over about 50 amp. We've got this little watt meter here that gives us our peak current, so we know what we were doing. But I must stress, if you're gonna try this at home, uh, please make sure your copter is strapped down and can't go anywhere because we are going to get these blades running at a bazillion miles an hour and you don't want to be anywhere near it if the thing takes off. Um, so I've got safety goggles on um, and I'm going to step back from the machine when I do it. But here we go, we'll put it up as if it was in a hobo running at about 20 amp. So, if we come back down to the meter, we can see the peak was at 20 amp there, 20.32. So what we'll do now is, once we've done pretty much a majority of the battery and we know that's good, we'll really give the ESCs and the motors a run for their money and make sure that they are responding well to the throttle command and everything's happy, something like this. So then we know that the ESCs, the motors aren't getting too hot, the ESCs are all nice and cool, everything's within tolerance. And we can look at that and go, yeah, well we've pulled 56 amp at peak. So that's um, you know, pretty good. If you're pulling that in the air, you're, you're working it pretty hard, that's pretty good. Then we're happy that the machine actually can cope under load, then we'll finish the build, take it outside and put it in the air. Um, you'll also get a video of your copter flying. Um, so if you, um, if you want to uh, get your, you want to see what your copter looks like in the air before you get it, you'll at least see that it's been flown and that it does indeed fly. So we don't just um, build it, pack it in a box, and send it. We actually make sure it is tested, and I mean tested, and well as test flown. Uh, so if you've got any questions, pop us an email. But pretty much that's a uh, an ARF or an RTF kit. In this case, a Discovery tested. Now we'll finish the build and go and test fly it. Enjoy.